Hello Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading for May. This is a general reading, so any subject can come up. Capricorn, I was scrying before your reading, and I saw a fairy creature with very long, skinny legs and arms tied up and suspended in midair. So, it could be a time where you're feeling stuck. Perhaps some energy is stuck. We're going to have a look at it, though, okay? Let's get an overall oracle message for Capricorn. Now, this reading is timeless. And as always, cross watchers are welcome, too. Who do we have for Capricorn, please? Too many. Okay, this one. Good fortune. Interesting. Let me put these up over here where they won't be falling. There we go. Good fortune. Invite magic in. Look at that. All the flowers are in bloom. There's a stairway going up. I love this imagery. There's always something new. All right. Let's dive in and look at the past energies for Capricorn. I do get a feeling of abundance there. All right. Whoa. All right. We got the Queen of Fire. What else? Very heartfelt, passionate. Okay. And the Ace of Air. This is a new. This is a victory. Okay. Over something. We're going to dive in deeper because it's really too early to tell. I like this Ace of Air. This is a truth. This is a victory. It matters of the heart and in passion. What is the Queen of Air? Tell me more about this. The Four of Wands. This brings cel celebration. Stability could be marriage. So let's look at this victory, this ace of air, this truth, this new truth, genuine, authentic. Show me this ace of air for Capricorn. Okay. King of Cups. This is a victory in love. This is emotional victory. Um, emotional maturity. So you'll know what, what victory, because this has already happened in the recent past. We're going to go ahead and dive in and take a look at the current energies. So we can see exactly what Capricorn is dealing with currently with this good fortune. Okay, let's see. What's the good fortune here? I feel like this could be a protected energy. So something that was trying to bring you down has been stopped and bound. So that this victory, okay, yeah, could come in. This abundance could come in. Well, that's good. All right. I'm feeling that. So this is something I've, that you've truly desired. This is a deep, deep desire. This could also be if you were having health issues, 
perhaps you were not able to get around. This is a this this six of water is like a healing and recovery type of energy as well. Let's look at this six of water. Tell me more about this for Capricorn. This one. Oh, the two of cups could be a relationship. I'm getting that love feeling from this. For some of you, it will be. For others, you know, I read for multiple people. This is a general reading. So if it doesn't totally resonate with you, then leave it and um, go check out your other placements. Okay, you got the queen of coins. So could be dealing. Okay, hold up. Spirit saying this is can also be you. This Queen of Coins feels like your energy. It's a Virgo energy. It's a healing energy, nurturing. So I do feel like this is like a self nurturing that you've been that you're currently doing. So again, if you're healing and recovering. From something that makes sense. So the five of fire. I always think this is my little stubborn fairy who doesn't want to do anything else but what she wants to do. So it's very, it's not necessarily a stuck energy. We're gonna dive deeper. It's more of a I'm I'm pretty sure of I'm pretty sure what I want, and I'm gonna sit here till I get it kind of energy. So again, you may be lounging around a little bit, taking it easy, recovering, or let's see, so team, what do we have for Capricorn with the Five of Fire? You could also be learning something new. This is my uh, apprentice type of energy as well, where mistakes are common. You know, when you're learning something new, there will be mis mistakes made. It's keeping in that growth mindset. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles, I like that. Yeah, I see this is just, you're around the house. You know, you're enjoying um, the benefits of being at home <laughs> or in your comfort zone. Could be surrounded by family at this time. Let's look at this Empress. Again, this is Virgo energy. So this is your energy, Virgo. Why I keep calling you Virgo? This is the Capricorn reading. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but I also see the so much Earth energy here. I am so sorry I was calling you Virgo. All right. We are on Capricorn, soul team. Okay, what do we have for our Capricorn? That inner, the Virgo energy is just coming through so strongly. So it could be dealing with a mother as well or a spouse. But Virgo is very um, abundant energy as well. So is Capricorn, but. More, I get that more so from the Empress energy. Let's go ahead and clarify this Empress and the current energies for Capricorn. Oh, that for a minute I thought her feather looked like a fish on her head. Hmm, and the Queen of Wands came out again. It's very spiritual, passionate energy here that I'm getting with this. Very, again, very stubborn, very confident. Yes. So whatever this is, you're very confident about. And let's see, what else? Again, I'm being drawn to the roses here. 
could just be enjoying the fruits of your labor at this time, okay? So we're going to move forward, Capricorn, and take a look at the advice from Spirit. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn in the advice? Okay, the seven of fire. Okay, what else? Rise above it. Getting over the hump is what I'm being told. Getting over the hump. The Eight of Fire and the Three of Swords. So yeah, this Three of Swords is kind of like getting over the hurt, getting over the pain. Could even come from your heart area. Could be matters of the heart that you are healing. It could be um, even certain surgeries or something like that that you are healing from. But it's definitely talking about protect protecting your heart with she's protecting her chest area. And the the eight of fire is um this could be rapid healing, rapid um this getting over the hump could happen faster than you think. I'm getting okay. So this 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 happens faster than expected. That's good. If you're not dealing with health issues or healing in any manner, then this is saying that this venture, that, that this abundance that's coming in is going to come in quickly. So be ready for it. Okay, seven of fire. Show me more about this. It's also kind of taken the leap a little bit with this energy here. The Seven of Cups. It could be choices. It could be a lot of choices. It could be um, daydreams coming in. It could be gifts as well. So let's look at... The Eight of Fire. Also, Sevens could be of significance to you. Okay. Eight of Fire. This is new energy coming out. I'm being told this is more energy. You'll have more energy. Oh, this is this is the Joker, which is the fool, but it has come out in the reverse. So even though you're feeling better, even though you have more energy, Spirit's saying, don't jump in too soon. Don't um, push yourself too hard okay so let's look at the three of air the eight of wands so this healing does it does happen rapidly though could also be a lot of messages that come in messages of well-being so accept these messages from friends or family accept these gifts accept this time to nurture yourself and receive all right let's look at the probable outcome if capricorn follows this advice let's see this as a 
more freedom as well. Thinking back to the vision I had with the creature tied up and bound, this is more freedom. So let me know in the comments below how this plays out for you, please, Capricorn. All right, show me probable outcome. If, oh, ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. You're going to rise above and you're going to start fulfilling some of these wishes and dreams that you've had. All right. I love that energy for you. Let's go ahead and clarify, though. I want to look even closer. I do want to grab these in case they need to come out again. So let's put those in there and go ahead and give it a couple of good shuffles. Clarify for capital coin, please, soul team. And the six of fire. Rising above. This is a new venture. Feeling light. Feeling free. Wow, this is such beautiful energy, Capricorn. The Ten of Wands, which is the ending of a burden. It was weighing you down, wasn't it? All right. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is leaving behind those heavy burdens. Let, I'm going to get one more on the Seven of Water. This looks like hopes, wishes, dreams. Again, sevens. You've got seven here three times. You've got seven. Well, you had a clarifier that was seven. So seven, seven, seven. Beautiful angelic number. Okay. And the three of one. Yeah, this is this is something that's going to last a long time. This uh this healing, or you could be going a long distance. It's very interesting. If you're taking a trip overseas, perhaps, okay? Very nice. Now let's grab a message from the light, and I'll read the small little passage out of the book for you to close off your reading, Capricorn. All right. Capricorn, please. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, creation. Oh, that does feel... This energy feels so nice. Like it reminds me of a cleansing coming down and just washing away all those worries. But let's look out of the book. Creation, as above, so below. The world we hold in the focus of the mind is the world we will inhabit. Become conscious of what you are envisioning. Again, I kind of get this energy here with the seven of water as well. Envision what you want your future life to look like, Capricorn. Much love and light. I'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, Capricorn.